Right guys, welcome to runout.tv. We're playing tournament pockets. On a uh, virtual pool for snooker. Trying to get used to, to them. Not easy. Uh, I think my highest break on tournament pockets is... Somewhere in the region of 80. Um, but it is, it's really hard, like, as you'll see, you get no room for manoeuvre at all. That's actually a good shot. I'm actually happy with that, 14. So if I can get anything over a 30 at this point, because I've decided I'm going to dedicate a little bit of time um, to trying to master snooker, and, and I think... The key thing is when you're aiming, obviously you aim up. If you sort of aim to hit that jaw, or you're hitting that jaw, so you've really just got that kind of aiming zone there. So you've really got to be quite... You've got to be hitting the, the ball less hard. Now in saying that, I've just punched it in, which I appreciate. Um, so you just, you've just got to be really kind of on the ball, really. Just have a look. See where the knuckle is. Because if you hit the knuckle on VP4, you know, if you're playing tournament pockets... It's coming back out, guys. Simple as that. Now, I did plan on playing the pink. However, I know it's not going to get spotted. Let's have a look and see if that red ball goes into the corner. As we can see, it does. So, it makes that shot a little bit hard easier. Sorry, not harder. So, we're just going to really try hard to get a decent break. So the pink has been spotted at the bottom of the table. So we're on a break of 37, which is which is pretty cool. I'm not known for my high breaks on on snooker, so um, this one just trying to pinch ever so slightly. So I'm happy with that. So do I go into balls here? I think I probably do. These, this is a type of shot that I was much more comfortable on VP for. Right. Just let us land on one, guys. Oh, no. So we're doing well here. Um, let's, uh, look at him. Right. Probably going to go for that one. Roll through for the black. Oh, I've messed it up. Oh, God. How irritating. Well. Well, that's a 46 break, guys, so... Not bad. Yep, didn't get it. Yeah, just got to always watch that. I've seen to be doing that more these days, and I'm not sure why, but 46 break's not bad. Let's keep going. Sort of good signs on... Oh, man, let's try that one again. Where was everyone wrong here? I always find when you're aiming, start from, from the... when you're hitting the ball straight and just work your way across. Go back and forward a little bit and eventually you'll see the... So that's a bit wide. You'll, you'll just feel the angle a bit. There, that's about right. It's, just, it's almost like an intuition. But you've got to be so careful on uh, on VP4 because and when you're playing tournament pockets, like you saw that little slip by me there, just killed a 50 break. And probably a much higher break. See that again? Just a little, not not the best. And once you run out of position, it's just like, it's it's very much like real, real snooker where it's much harder to, to get a good break, you know? As you can see, I'm not... Can you get that in? No. 
maybe it's a test I'm going to see if I can I reckon that will squeeze in but just should just to show you how tight these uh, tournament pockets are okay now going potted of course which tells me that I'm all I'm all wrong it does um does go so this ball here you've got to make sure that you leave the white in the middle of the of the ball as well now if I can get the one at the bottom of these two reds I might well go for that um just want to, I almost want to just touch this red going through that's it that's perfect that's exactly what I was trying to do before we made an absolute meal of it so um bit of top spin just be care, again just take great care with that pot and angle every shot you've got to have maximum concentration because it can go wrong just that easy now I'd like to clear up here So we're again on a break of 34. Now this is the exact replica of a shot that I've now undercut, <laughs> under hit. Um, probably I was trying to compensate. So two, pretty much two of the same shot that I've made a mess of. But this is gettable. So let's just see if we can work it out. That's close. There seems... Oh, let's go for there, I think. Oh, let's just see how much I missed that by. Let's have a look. Yeah, just over. Did you see that? Probably on a club table, that might go in. Um, let's try it. A... Oh, good shot. Could try the black down the cushion because these are my nemesis shots, these. Oh, perfect. Hit that perfectly. Um, so as you have only missed I think two balls so practice is worth it guys if you do ever want to get good at this game um, practice is definitely whoops I'm going to keep going back usually I don't do that one and try it again because that was just way way over hit believe it or not I was trying to stay on the yellow in the other pocket Ooh, now look this is a good example guys of oh dear mate Back, back, back there. See that? You'd think on a club table that might have had a chance, but no way. So you got to be really quite precise. You see, you get the shot like that takes a little bit of skill because it's not easy. So you just got to take that extra, just that extra moment. Need that to keep going. Oops. Oops. Try for the double. No. So it doesn't, like I say, it doesn't really matter when you get to this point. Oh, that wasn't far away. Right, let's get these last couple of balls in, and that'll be the end of this video. But I hope you see like how I practice. I just sort of take my time. Um, I do undo some shots. Like, say for example, that shot there, I might undo it. Just trying to learn the angle, just looking at it and saying, right, that's more like it. Actually, that was overdone. So you just got to like try and see where you're going wrong because a lot of the shots will be repeated. Oh, dear. Making a wet meal of this. Um, but the good thing is when you're not online, you can press Z to just hurry the shot up like that. And again, I've made a not the best effort here. So let's just end this frame. Only second. See if we can just get these two balls in. If you get, don't get into the thing where you just start hitting balls because it, it's not practice, it's not um, productive. Ooh, let's undo that one. It was a bit of a mouse fart. Just play a little bit harder. See if it does go in or not. Yeah, just. Um, so there you go, guys. That's the end of the game. We've got a cut. I think a 40, 40 yard and a thirty yard in one frame. So that's that's not too bad on on the tournament pockets. So let's have a game now on the on the club pockets just to see how different that is.